What's up, my name is Austin Paulson, I'm with AP Performance, and today we're gonna to show you what you need to be doing on the daily to increase muscle and increase strength. So today, we're gonna to talk about daily undulating periodization. So what is that? Before we dive in, I wanna give you some background information that I feel like is necessary so I can explain this a lot better. So this is a chart that has to do with strength and hypertrophy. So strength is obviously how much you can lift, like the weight wise. Hypertrophy is the growing of. So the growing of, in this case, muscle mass, okay? So it's strength versus muscle mass increased. And then this dotted line is what's called your neuromuscular adaptation. So what that is is <clears throat> your brain sends signals to your muscles, right? and then it tells it, lift this. Well, this chart, I'm gonna explain to you some background information. Um, your hypertrophy, when you start out, is gonna go up, right? You have those new newbie gains, all of a sudden you start making gains, but then you start to plateau, right? The same with strength. If you just start strength training, and you just start doing the, the same thing every day, and you start getting stronger, this is great, right? But in time, this line right here, you're gonna plateau, right? Okay, so this dotted line has everything to do with you increasing strength and hypertrophy, okay? So you see over here that if you combine them, that this neuromuscular adaptation can increase, which in turn can increase hypertrophy, okay? Perfect, so now I'm gonna explain what daily undulating periodization is. So daily undulating periodization, all it is, is manipulating the different rep ranges on that day to increase uh, the neuromuscular part, the strength, and then the hypertrophy part. So I'm gonna label it. Strength is gonna be in the one to four rep range, okay? Strength and hypertrophy combined is gonna be in the five to seven rep range, okay? Hypertrophy itself, I'm gonna say it's in the eight to 12 rep range, okay? So, how we're gonna go about creating a training program during the week, I'm just gonna to refer to the basic three compound movements, the bench, squat, and deadlift, okay? So, on Monday, say we're gonna train for strength, right? And so we're gonna go in the one to four rep range um, on Monday. And I does, I'm not going into the number of sets, the reps and all that, I mean, the number of reps I'm gonna go into, but the, not the number of sets. So, bench, Monday, one to four reps. On Tuesday, we're gonna do squats, and we're gonna do five to seven, okay? And then on Wednesday, say we do the deadlift, but we do eight to 12 reps, okay? So as we come down, we can start uh, changing different exercises that we're periodizing, but the daily undulating part is every day, we're changing these rep schemes. So we're training for strength, we're training for strength and hypertrophy, and then we're training just for muscle growth, right? This is because our brain sends signals to our muscles and we're gonna allow more muscle recruitment. So we're gonna try to send more signals, we're gonna try to send uh, stronger signals, uh, and we're gonna try to incorporate mu more muscle fibers so we can increase strength. And once we increase strength, then we're gonna be able to lift more weight at a higher rep range, in turn make more muscle damage, in turn make more muscle mass, okay? So that's a long process. If you're looking to increase your performance or you're plateauing, you're in that intermediate stage and you're looking for the next step, try this out. I really feel like this will help you guys out. So if you have any questions, uh, please message me. Um, thanks guys, peace.